Welcome, everybody, to the Super Metal Brothers Reaction Radio. We're here for another one. You like my radio voice? We're here for another one. This is Polaris Inhumane. Coming up next on 106.7 KBPY. DJ Spring Break Date Rape. <laughs> yeah. We're going to do some Spring Break Date Rape, and also we're going to do some prank phone calls right here on 106.7 KBPY. I've never heard this band before, Polaris. I've never actually heard a song by them, I don't think. They're, uh, they kind of came in after I started phasing out of metalcore. They're in kind of a a weird time. There was that kind of shift around the time of like Inve Animate, maybe like a little bit later. I can't really recall. Yeah, I can't tell you a single song by them because that's when I was just balls deep into deathcore at that yeah. point. So um, I do know this band is from Australia. Which is interesting. There's, I feel like in the wake of, you know, Prom Queen, Parkway, and all them, like all these fucking metal acts started coming out of Australia in full swing, man. Yep. So it's cool. But I've heard good things about this band. So I'm excited to see what they're all about. Throw us a like and subscribe. Yeah. Love you. Anyways, let's get into this fucking uh, song. Let's just do it. If you're a Polaris fan, you've been in with them since the beginning. Let us know in the comments. All right, let's go. We got some bass. The wide video. So I'm going to pause it real quick. Okay. This is not metalcore. This is new metal. Yeah. This song is new metal. And yeah. that's okay. It's making a comeback. But it's uh, Korn. Uh, I even hear, who's that? Uh, that band that did Bullet with a name with your name on it. The uh, bullet I with your bullet name on it. With your name on it. You know what I'm talking about? Who the fuck sang that song? No idea. <sighs> but Sorry, I heard man. some of that. It's got the, the riffs got that vibe. You know, yeah, and yeah, the yeah. beginning had that corn vibe. And that's that's making a comeback, man. The early 2000s new metal. So this seems to be like the argument kind of going around because I I'm of the feeling that each era kind of has like its own metalcore sound. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Because nothing nowadays is sounding like Parkway, right? Or early August. That was kind of specific to that time, was that yeah. type of metalcore. Now we're getting bands like this band, you know, Bad Omens, which I, yeah, I'd agree. I don't consider a metalcore, but like, is the, I see this argument online a lot is could it maintain this sound, have a breakdown and still be considered metalcore to you? I don't know. I just think it's a different thing. From what I consider metalcore now, what, what someone else considers it. I mean, it's all subjective, but like, I can't put this in the same category as early Parkway. No, no. And I never would, you know, I, or volumes even. I just but deathcore. I mean, category. I mean, shit, dude. Suicide silence back in the day doesn't sound anything like distant. That's that's valid. You know that what I mean? So point. I yeah. yeah it, I'm not I'm not saying there's going to be a huge breakdown. I'm not saying this is metalcore. I'm saying has the term metalcore changed? Does it change with the eras? So I don't know. Let's keep going. It's all right. Let us know. Tell us what you think. All right, let's go. That 
okay. Oh, that was fucking cool, dude. Oh. Actually, that solo was pretty badass, dude. That was I was kind of blown away for a second. It's like it didn't fit into what I think of a song like this. Yeah, it was just kind of came out of nowhere. Like it, it's different too. I like the little choppy like uh, kill switch thing he did. All the real real long slides. I, I thought it was badass, dude. Yeah, so much so he was like, "I'm stepping out in front for this one, dude. Yeah, I'm not." Fu- yeah. He had some big dick energy right there yeah, with yeah, his guitar, yeah. dude. I got something for you fuckers. Check this shit out. Almost like he pulled the neck out of guitar from his fucking pants, yeah. dude. That was like, that was a fucking Marty and fucking uh, Back to the Future moment. Everybody yeah. else is like, what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> He's like, I'm going to lay down this sweet, sweet fucking solo and then go fuck my mom. Or try not to fuck my mom. I yeah, think try not to fuck my mom. <laughs> yeah, she just finds me so irresistible when I play <laughs> cause, solos cause like my this. Mom's trying to fuck me. Yeah, That's, yeah. We're not going to go deep into the Back to the Future, the problems with that that movie. Yeah. <laughs> it's ahead of its time, some would say. Yeah. All right, let's keep going. Nice to see Billy Corgan still doing stuff. He has green hair. Was that Al Qaeda? <laughs> Australian accent. <laughs> I don't know how to do one. It's those fucking Al Qaeda and cunts. It's fucking Al Qaeda. <laughs> the fucking Al Qaeda. They jumped out the bush. Watch out for drop bass. Uh, yeah, dude. Uh, that was actually that was fun. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, it did something that I wish that bands would have fucking done twenty three years ago, which is put a fucking good solo in the shit. At, like, I yeah. don't know why yeah. fucking all that new metal like all the way from like corn to slipknot and everything in between like they were so against solos it was like yeah was, oh we're not show offs so it's like dude fucking show off we want to see you show like yeah. you're wearing masks there's nine of you and you have three drummers and two of them are playing kegs you're fucking show offs like Play I mean, a solo, it's okay. They eventually got past that shit. They all started yeah, playing yeah, fucking later. solos. Well, Slipknot but ima- did. But imagine, like, you know, that first big album, you know, with, uh, you know, Heretic, not Heretic Anthem, the one before that, the fucking number album. Wait and Bleed? self-titled. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Wait and Bleed album. Imagine that was solos. Yeah. Because they were I both I think there was of. a version of that, actually. I think they literally had, like, a some kind of deluxe version that they had released like years down the road that like contained some of the solos. I think there was like some like, yeah, it was just a, a victim of its era where there was like, now nah, let's just cut it out. They saw, yeah. they thought solos were like filler or some shit. Yeah. But, the, uh, like the, there was a whole era there where they thought solos were cheesy. Yeah. So yeah, we didn't really get a breakdown. So I, I would agree with you. That was very new metal. Yeah, which uh, I mean, I mean, it was kind of a breakdown, but it was it wasn't like the slow, 
like slower tempo yeah. breakdown that we're getting more used to this day. It was just like a, they had like a groovy riff that they threw in there, which is more like, you know, late 90s breakdown. That's what like like uh, the great example is that that first Linkin Park song, the shut up when I'm talking to you like that song. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like we wouldn't consider that a breakdown today. But back then we did. It was that's fair. You know, so. Yeah, I thought it was good. Uh, I could see why people like them. Uh, very new metally. That's the stuff that I listened to like way back in the day. Gave me like some vibes there. Um, overall, good musicianship, good band. Can't say it's my number one thing. For me, the standout was the solo. I definitely 100%. dug that part above all else. The vocals were not a whole lot of variety, but it was very consistent. And sometimes, you know, it thrives within that. Yeah, I mean, if you guys have a, a Polaris song that's maybe more metalcore adjacent, uh, you know, put it down in the comments. And we'll check that out and kind of see the contrast, if you will, because I know these guys were metalcore at one point. Or maybe if there's just like something that's like their magnum opus song, mm -hmm. if you will, put that in the comments, too. We'll we'll check it out. We'll do it for you live. All right. It's all for you, baby. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We love you. I'm going to say that every fucking time, dude. Just fucking hit it. He I does. love you so much. I just need you to fucking click the like and subscribe button. It's like, I love you. I fucking love you. I fucking love you. As as the life drains from your eyes. All right. All right. Peace out. Later.